Hello Legends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an open source version of Deep Research. So you don't actually have to spend 200 bucks a month with OpenAI for the premium tier and you get no search limit restrictions. So I think right now OpenAI gives you 100 searches per month. Now this open source version was created by a really smart dude called David Jang. And yeah, this is basically his take on Deep Research. Um, this system is running predominantly on Firecrawl API for searching the web and OpenAI API for the LLM. But the interesting thing to note is uh, you can actually self-host Firecrawl uh, and it, you can actually uh, use your own self-hosted LLM. So you can point both of these to your, um, yeah, you're basically your private versions of uh, Firecrawl and your LLM. So that will help you save costs, but also it'll help you maintain like privacy if you don't want to you know, have your information shared with the kind of stuff that you're researching or you're doing. Um, that can be contained entirely within your own systems. So that is really cool. Now, um, yeah, basically, I'm not going to go through this kind of stuff. Um, the way that this works is you'll actually input your search query, or I am going to go through this. You input your search query, and when you input your search query, you are met with two uh, additional parameters to set. The depth parameter, which is, I think, uh, well, and a breadth parameter on a scale of like 1 to 5 and 1 to 10. So the depth and a breadth, I'm not exactly sure what that is. But let's say you're researching dogs, then I think the depth parameter might just mean like how many sources you're looking at. And then the breadth parameter might just mean how many variants of dogs you're looking at um, at a very high level. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's how it works, but that's my take on it. Um, and when you input your search parameter, you set the depth and the breadth parameter, uh, then you are also met with some smart follow-up. So this system will actually generate some additional follow-up questions to try and pinpoint and get a little bit more specific with what you want to research before it then goes away, uh, queries a bunch of different websites, generates a report, and uh, yeah, gives it back to you. So to install this on your computer and to get this running, the first thing we're going to do is open up a terminal. And on our terminal, we're going to go to here and copy this uh, HTTP link. Then back in our terminal, we're going to go to, uh, and type in git clone uh, space and then enter in that URL. And now we've just downloaded uh, this entire repo onto our local machine. So our second step is uh, we then have to now uh, CD into that folder that we just downloaded. And the folder is called deep slash research. So CD space deep dash research. And now we're within that file. And now we have to do npm install. We're going to install all the dependencies in order for this to run. Now, um, the next step is we have to go into our into that file, into that folder, and uh, enter our API key for Firecrawl and OpenAI. Um, so to do that, I'm going to open up uh, a brand new. So this is cursor. I use cursor to codes. I'm going to open up a new window for cursor. I'm going to go to open folder. And then I'm going to go to deep research and just open this. And now I'm within that um, entire repo that we just downloaded. And we have over here .env example. But what we are told to do is to change the name from .env example to, to .env local. So over here, I'm just going to go to where is rename. Go across to the very end local. Awesome. And now I need to get the Firecrawl API key and OpenAI API key. So uh, in Firecrawl, you can go ahead and create a brand new account, which is what I did. And you have a bunch of credit that you can use this for free. So I'm going to copy this API key and paste it in here. Then I'm going to go across to platform.openai.com. Uh, I'm going to go across to my dashboard, hit API keys, and then create a new secret key. And I'm going to call this deep research. I'm going to copy this, hit done. And now I am going to paste that in here. Awesome. Back in the instructions. Um, and now we're going to need, so the basically this, the actual uh, convers like the actual deep research and the conversation we have when we're asking our questions is going to happen within the terminal. So it's going to happen all within here. But we actually need to download Docker so we can run the app within Docker. 
So the next step is to download Docker. Uh, you can do that by going to docker.com, clicking this button to download the version for your, uh, for your desktop. Um, actually, about a month ago, uh, Docker for Mac had a bunch of like malware issues. Uh, if I just scroll up, I think it'll be here. So if you have Docker for, on your Mac and you're getting this pop-up all the time coming up, um, they've released a patch which fixes this. And that patch is 4.37.2. So it's actually happened to me and I had to find this. So I'm going to leave these links in the description of the video. You're going to go across to this link and you're going to find this version. And I have Apple with the silicon chip, sorry, uh, Mac with the Apple chip. And uh, it's downloading. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this. Drag it into my applications. Awesome. Next step is to open it up. So I'm going to go back into my applications. Find Docker. Double click to open. And this is the important step. You actually have to open up Docker and have it running before we run the next commands in our terminal. So here is Docker. And uh, yeah, I pretty much just got it opened up and you can see um, that it's ready to go. So if you open up Docker for the first time, you might be prompted to enter in some um, credentials to log in, but I just clicked the skip button at the very bottom, so I didn't sign up at all. Now the next step that we need to do is... Okay, and our next step is to uh, take this command and run that in our terminal. So once again, you have to be in the exact same terminal as before. Um, well, you have to be CD'd into deep research. And I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to hit run. And now you can see that I have the uh, image mounted in my Docker, so it's ready to go. And now I am prompted to research something. So this is where we can actually enter our um, research query. So I'm just going to say uh, who or which is the best soccer team in the world. And we have the breadths. Okay, so this is uh, between, I think, 1 and 10. The default is 4. I'm just going to go with a default of 4. Here we have between 1 and 5. And the default is 2. I'm going to go for default of 2. Again, I don't really know exactly um, what these mean. And then we have some follow-up questions. So are you referring to club teams, national teams, or both? I'm just going to say national teams. Uh, what criteria should be used to define best, for example, historical success, current form, revenue, fan base, or other performance metrics? Um, I would say uh, most championships one or world titles one. I don't know. Now, uh, is there a specific time period you're interested in, such as the current season or the overall? Overall, I want it from all time. And now we're researching our topic. So we're going to get a bunch of different um, queries generated by the LLM, which are then going to be used to actually fire off the uh, Firecrawl API to go ahead and research. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and I'm going to come back when it's finished researching. I'm going to go through exactly what, what happened in the background. Okay, and the research is complete. So I'm going to scroll up all the way to the top so you can see all this stuff was done in the background, probably took like three to four minutes. Um, but yeah, from over here, we're entering our initial search query, which is, uh, you know, which is the best soccer team in the world. We were asked some follow-up questions and then we, um, we, that's basically our job was done. And then from here, we can see a bunch of queries were set up, um, heaps of queries were set up, and then uh, a bunch of API calls were made to uh, all the different uh, resources that we saw at the very bottom. We had a learning section created um, that gives us a bunch of knowledge about basically our questions, so which was the best soccer team in the world. Um, and yet we had 19 URLs visited. So best soccer team based on championship success, Okay, so it's actually very in-depth introduction, uh, historical overview, trophy counts, FIFA World Cup achievements. Okay, so the FIFA World Cup has served as the benchmark for measuring the success of the national teams. And the res records are as follows. So we had Brazil with five FIFA World Cups in these years. Germany and Italy both had four. Argentina had three. And other nations had two each. So, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Top aggregate, yeah. Tactical, organizational, and ev evolutionary factors. This is so in depth. This is wild. We saw we basically gave it like only a couple of prompts, answered like well, one prompt and answered a couple of questions. Um, and then 
Brazil. Okay, so that's the final answer. Uh, Brazil is the is best when evaluated solely upon FIFA World Cup success, which is the thing that we were looking at. But if you were considering um, a bunch of different, um, so it considers an aggregate of all international tournament success, global and regional, then Argentina is a top. So that's actually interesting because it wasn't just biased to our initial criteria. We had some additional criteria that was created during the process. Then we have some additional follow-ups uh, for further analysis. So, yeah, this is this is such a cool um, open source feature. Um, as you saw, we were using like it's so easy to set up, and we were using um, the uh, API for Firecrawl and API for OpenAI. But if we did want to run this like using a local LLM, then yeah, the instructions are right here. You would just like X this out. You would introduce the OpenAI underscore uh, endpoint into this environment file and you would point that to where your uh, LLM is locally hosted um, and then you would get the OpenAI model name to just be the model which is in your server and then the same thing with Firecrawl you can just point to that uh, local local version of Firecrawl so guys hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> good luck with all your deep research now um, it's gonna be super cheap uh, compared to you know the 200 bucks so yeah good luck see you later